Hi, welcome to Aussie Nomads Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. So after 24 hours, we have arrived in the Princetown Recreational Reserve. An old mate here is cleaning up the mess we made yesterday. Yay, the sun came out. It's so nice and warm. Here he comes, been for a little walk around the showgrounds. Good looking camp kitchen. Couple of barbies. Good looking playground that Ed wouldn't let me on. He's such a party pooper. Couple of cricket wickets if you're that way inclined. A laundry over here somewhere. I haven't been to the laundry, but Ed went to the laundry. A little laundry. It's only four bucks a load and the dryers are three. Huge oval for your kids to run amok on or your dogs. Reindeer. Ah, oh, some of them have got babies, I reckon. Ah, oh, one of them's got great big antlers. Best sunny day since we got the new van, and he is tinkering. <laughs> She's a typical Jaco. It's got plumbing issues. He should be a Jaco repairer because he spends half his likes fixing the plumbing issues. This is me being helpful. Getting my brownie points up. There you go. So the sun has finally come out. We are still down on the Great Ocean Road and today we are heading out exploring. We're going up to the California Redwood picnic area, Triplet Falls, and you should come with us. This is a very beautiful drive. Now, we are on our way to the beach forest. Well, it says it's called the Redwood Forest. So we are heading down there to the picnic area for lunch. Having a little tailgate lunch. Back to the old steak for lunch. Yum! You want to see what our beautiful lunch view looks like? How magical is that? Beautiful. So we are in the Great Ottawa National Park and these trees were planted in 1936 and they are 82 years old in 2019. They are stunningly beautiful. <laughs> They're big. Look at the steam coming out of your mouth. Let me show you how tall and straight this tree is. She's a beauty. Get a look at that. Crazy gorgeous. They are stunningly beautiful and so straight. 
Look at the steam. That'll be because it has been so cold and now the sun just came out. It's magic. always rely on the graffiti people to wreck everything. Oh, is it? End of the track, big fella. Oh, oh even the tree steaming. <laughs> Everything's steaming. Finally, the sun's coming up. So that's the California Redwoods forest done and now we are off to Hopeton Falls. It, it is beautiful, make sure you stick it on your list. Hopeton Falls. Oops. There is a lot of steps. There is going to be some serious whinging going on coming back, I got to tell you. How stunning is that? Beautiful. Look at all the moss. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're here again. 35 years since we were last here. Nope, 28 we worked out. Gorgeous, what a lovely walk. up the 65 million stairs we go that's where we're going back up all those suckers and that's only a quarter of them bet we'll be sucking the big ones by the time we get to the top and we will make it maybe not till dinner time but we will make it we are sucking the big ones big time top of the falls it's so beautiful Go the sunshine. Hey, we have had a beautiful day and because we have placed ourselves about 7 k's from the 12 apostles, now we are heading back to do sunset at the beginning of the 12 apostles. Anyway, the sun's still out and it's not raining and the world is a happy place. Off we go with another 65,000 tourists to look at the beginning of the 12 apostles. And that sunset, back to the car we go. <laughs> so between flat batteries and getting bogged, we didn't get to do any of Apollo Bay the other day. So we are heading back in there today, going to get some fish and chips for lunch. It's gone overcast and yucky again, so we will make the best effort, effort to have a good day. We are back in Apollo Bay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What are you doing? Waiting for chips. What is it? It's supposed to be a tuna. It looks like a tuna. Cray pots. He is heading to the lolly shop. So 
I am supposed to be the tour organizer of this establishment and he is supposed to be the weatherman and can you just get a look at the weather it's been disgraceful for like 10 days heading for the Cape Ottaway lighthouse it's a beautiful drive it's the most significant lighthouse and it was established in 1848 now he's officially got two jumpers on one raincoat one jumper Not many people here. Yee-hoo! Looking for whales. Always got to look for whales. None. No whales. This is the telegraph station. <laughs> it's got sound effects. How cool is that? <coughs> Pretty cool, eh? Another room in there. Every room's got a fireplace in it. It must have been freezing. A bit like today. There's the lighthouse. So this is the head keeper's quarters was built in 1857. We are nearly at Cape Ottaway Lighthouse and it's very beautiful. I'm guessing that is supposed to be a southern right whale and that's his tail way down there. Now we are heading to the bunker. There she is. I'm really going looking for whales. He's going to the bunker. That's not a bunker. It's a radar station. A radar bunker, Ed reckons. That goes down as the world's ugliest looking whale. Bet you didn't know this. This is Eric the Red's anchor. He was wrecked on the Ottawa Reef on the 4th of September in 1880. There you go. Didn't have a very big anchor. Don't know how big the boat was. Needed a big anchor. He's wandering off again. It's going in there. So oh, this is the light keeper's quarters and it was in 1850. Right, Cape Ottaway, tick! It's one of them. <laughs> and we're out. Watch your heels. <laughs> Stay happy, be kind, love your life, and we'll see you next Sunday at 6am. Don't forget to hit that like button. See ya!